So quickly before we get into the video, I wasn't going to upload this video because of, you know, how it is, but at the same time, I just got a notification that 8-Bit Ryan also posted a video of a similar topic, you know, it was titled, Do I Still Enjoy Making Videos? And you know what, I thought he's posting it, and then I thought about the video that I made, so I felt a little confident in posting it, so I'm just gonna repeat what Ryan said, take this video more as a positive rather than a negative, but yeah, let's get back to the video. The day is 31st of December 2022, the last day of 2022, the last day of this year. And we can go on and on about all the, oh, last time I'm doing this, see you next year. And let's sit down and let's just have a chat. Let's have a talk. Yesterday, we've pulled off a successful Fan Wars Game Awards 2022. We've had the creator of Dark Deception, so many guests, big YouTubers, so many fan games and whatnot. And I am so proud of this community. First of all, I'm honored and grateful to be in the privileged position to do things like this. And so many announcements were made last year that we got two events next year, every two months, Deceptive Games, a Discord server. There was a Monster Rolls tournament announcement, so just go and check that one. It's almost two hours of show, but I will have like small trailers and clips of it on the channels for you guys who can't watch the entire two hour show. But this ain't the video for that. I made a video talking about my game of the year, a Plague Tale Requiem, of course. Amazing game. Please check it out if you haven't already. It's on Game Pass. You don't even have to go and buy it. Just get the Game Pass. It's on PC if you don't have Xbox console. But this is a different video for that. If you review this year, I just want to start off by saying 2023, the next year might be my last year. Now hold on a second. It might sound a little bit clickbaity. It be look. It's a little complicated. If you look at 2022, and of course, you know, understandably, not many Dark Deception related stuff released this year other than Super Dark Deception. There was Crazy Carnival map at the beginning of this year, I believe in January 2022. And that's about it. There were a lot of teasers related to Chapter 5. I made a lot of stuff as well, but I never could found my footing related to the content that I was making because we, you know, had Chapter 2 of Pump Play Day, we have Battle Release. So we had like a lot of stuff. There was no excuse for any, you know, uh, creator in my position to be like, you know, we never had a content or two. Next year is even bigger because all of the Dark Deception, it's everything related to Dark Deception and then Five Nights at Freddy's DLC, so, and Chapter 3 of Final Time, so it's like, no excuse, but at the same time, I'm losing my footing a little bit in terms of making my own content. So, which is why, you know, starting 2023, I'll try to change it as much as possible, but at the same time, try to stay consistent with the quality and whatnot. But next year on 30th December, 31st December 2023, if I am not producing quality content consistently and it's not yielding the results that, that it should be and it's not resonating with the fans, it's not resonating with the viewers and they're like, come on now. I might call it a day. Like I would still make content here and there. I would still check out, you know, the next installment for Poppy Playtime, the next installment of Finest of Freddy's, the next installment of Dark Deception and Bendy and whatnot. I would do that. Last of Us, Plague Tale, Life is Strange. Like these games I'm never leaving. I'm never, you know, saying, oh, that's it. I'm calling it a J. I'm not pulling IHS. IHS, please don't be watching this video. If you are, I would like to apologize. It's not a hit towards you. I love you. You know, me and you are homies. We go way back. A comment like this or a statement like this that could have been easily edited out of the video, but I still yet kept it in. It should not affect our relationship, right? But oh, enough of the jibbly jabbly, enough of the negative, oh boo hoo, I'm a cry. Let's hit 100k next year. That's the goal. 100k. Next year, Chapter 5 is about to drop, a lot of DLCs are about to drop, FNAF Security Breach DLC is about to drop. We'll see what happens, but there's a lot of collab I want to do next year. If you, if you didn't know already, like, starting next year, starting the next DLC, I am not doing solo DLCs anymore. Unless until, you know, it is something that is, you know, said specifically by Vince that, hey, yo! No more, like, you can't be sharing these codes anywhere, you can't be sharing this DLC. Unless that's the case, bringing some homies as well. So join the Discord server link in the description down below. There are other things that I want to do, of course, like The Last of Us, HBO, and cover Life is Strange, their show as well. Basically, branch out and varied content as well. I know it can be a little frustrating for the viewer, and it can be frustrating for the analytics, and then the algorithm. It becomes a little nasty, because let's say I have been covering Darts a lot. I have been covering FNAF a lot. I've been covering like indie horror game a lot. And then there's not enough. And then I'm like, I look at the other side and I look at other my passion or projects. I look at that. Then the people who subscribe for Dark Deception FNAF and whatnot, they go, you know, 
it's cool and all that. They're enjoying it. You know, I'm, I'm not interested. So you do you. I'll, I'll come back to see if you post Dark Symphony. That's just going to mess up the algorithm and whatnot. So it is a shame. But at the same time, it is understandable. These are the things that I acknowledge when I'm making those stuff. And well, ladies and gentlemen, regardless of all the things, regardless of the hiatus from anyone related to anything, regardless of the analytics, regardless of anything, I have had an amazing year of YouTube. I have had a great year related to the content. I've had a great year. Like we capped it off with fan wars. Come on now. Come on now. I could not have asked for a better capping off than that. And I hope I bring better, bigger content next year. So, I'm going to leave the question with you guys. What kind of content are you expecting from yeah boy next year? Or do you guys want more theories? Do you guys want more, you know, free flow videos like this one? Do you guys want more personality focused and whatnot? Let me know all of that good stuff down in those comments below. Susu for more! Have a good year next year. <laughs> we can go on about the joke again. No, now you're gonna see my next outro and intro next year. Okay, this is getting crazy. Subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for an amazing year of 2022. Thank you for all the good stuff. Thank you for good news. Thank you to everyone. All the fan devs, Vince, friends, family. Let's have even a bigger, greater year. 100k coming, boys. 100k next year. If I don't have it, I'm quitting YouTube.